Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app True Silent, which is an app that makes it so that when you put your phone into vibrate or silent mode, your phone is truly and completely silent. Before I get to that, I want to remind you that this uh, review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC stickers and tags for use with your Android phone that is equipped with NFC. So after this review, head on over to AndyTags.com and check those out. Now getting right to True Silent, let me just explain a little bit really fast what it is because uh, people don't understand. But when you put your phone into silent or vibrate mode, what happens is your phone mutes the notification and ringtone channels on your phone. But it does not mute your alarm channel, nor does it mute your uh, media channel. So if you're in a meeting, or you're in a theater, or you're in church, or someplace like that, and your phone may be on silent or vibrate, but if you accidentally touch, uh, say, a game that launches, uh, or maybe your music player, if you have a widget with it and you touch a play button by accident, and it starts playing, or that game comes on, um, or an alarm goes off, those things will make noise, even if your phone is in silent mode. So, uh, True Silent answers that question, and I'm proud to tell you, True Silent was developed by me, and it was developed entirely on an Android phone using the app Tasker, which I've reviewed before, along with uh, the Tasker App Factory. So I created the app entirely on an Android phone, and uh, I was looking for an app that would uh, mute everything on my phone so that I wouldn't, I got caught in that situation a couple of times when my phone was in silent or vibrate, but it still made noise in a situation where I didn't want it to. And if, ever, if that's ever happened to you, then you know, you don't want it to happen again. So anyway, let's hop on my phone and uh, I'll show you exactly how the app works. Um, I try to make it so that it's completely customizable to how you want it. And uh, so let's hop on my phone and uh, I'll show you how it works. So this is True Silent. So I'm going to tap that and uh, open you up into True Silent. Basically, all you have in True Silent inside the app itself is uh, our settings. The first two is to have mute media or mute alarm. Now you notice these can be turned on or they can be turned off. So you can have one, both, or neither of them uh, working at any given point in time. Of course, if you have this app, then it wouldn't make much sense not to have either one of them on. But what it allows you to do, if you turn this on, you're not, when you turn it on, you're not muting anything. You're just setting it on so that when you put your phone into silent or vibrate mode, it then mutes the media channel and mutes the alarm channel, uh, respectively. Then, secondly, you have the notification. Now, again, you can turn this on or you can turn this off. Uh, if you have it off, then when you put your phone into silent and vibrate mode and you have mute media or mute alarm on, nothing happens. Uh, I mean, they go, they, well, something happens, they get muted, but nothing happens with the notification. However, if you have it turned on, then when you put your phone into vibrate or silent mode and mute media or mute alarm are set to on, then a persistent notification uh, shows up in your notification bar to uh, remind you that, hey, uh, you have uh, True Silent is active, and so whatever settings you've set to mute, it's muted. Or, perhaps more importantly, if you have the Kill Alarm feature on, it'll remind you of that. And that can be the most important. Now, Kill Alarm. This is one of the things that makes uh, True Silent a little unique. Uh, there are a few other apps out there that uh, uh, will attempt to mute uh, the media and the alarm channel when you put your phone into silent and vibrate. Um, I don't think they have the persistent notification option that mine has, but also they don't have kill alarm. Now the reason that's important is because some phones, just like the phone I have right here, the Samsung Galaxy S3, the alarm on this phone, when you, uh, when you set an alarm on this phone, each alarm has its own uh, volume level. And when that alarm goes off, it doesn't matter what your alarm volume is set at. When the alarm goes off, it readjusts the alarm volume to whatever you've set for that specific alarm. 
So even if you have mute alarm on and you put your phone into silent or vibrate on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and there are other phones like this too, when the stock alarm goes off, it's going to readjust your alarm volume to what you've set it to for that particular alarm. So that even if your phone is in silent or vibrate and even if you've muted the alarm, it's going to unmute it. So it will still go off, which again, if you're in a meeting or a theater or church or something like that, and you don't want that to happen, that could be an issue. So if you turn kill alarm on, and again, this is optional, you can turn it on or off, then when your alarm goes off, True Silent will attempt to kill the alarm. So uh, that the, uh, the alarm will start to go off, but the millisecond that it, it clicks to go off, kill alarm kills it. So it never actually goes off. And this is really useful, again, if you have uh, uh, an S3, uh, I think most Samsung Galaxy, phone, Samsung Galaxy phones work this way, um, but also the alarm on some other phones I believe works that way too. Now this will only work with the stock alarms, that's important to know. If you're using a third party alarm, and if that third party alarm uh, also readjusts the alarm volume when the alarm goes off, then kill alarm will not work with it and there's no way to work around that so uh, that's important to note kill alarm only works with the stock alarm on some devices uh, so what you have to do is you have to turn it on and uh, try it out uh, maybe don't mute the alarm uh, turn mute alarm off and then uh, turn kill alarm on put your phone into silent or vibrate mode and let the alarm go off and see if it kills it test it out first because it doesn't work with every phone but it should work with most phones on the stock alarm. But again, not third party. Um, and then, warning, down here, toggling these settings while phone is already in vibrate silent mode will not work. So uh, you need to set your settings what you want them to be while your phone is actually in normal volume mode uh, because these actions are triggered when you put it into silent or vibrate. So if it's already in silent, and all these things are off and you come in here and turn them on, it's not going to have any effect. Uh, these are meant to be set up and then like I said, set it, forget it. Uh, and so once you set them up, then you never have to come in here again really, once you have it the way you want it to be and whenever you put your phone into a uh, silent or vibrate, it just happens. Uh, and then down here there's a tab to give you more information on the web. I don't know if you can read that or not. But if you click that, it'll take you to the website with more information. Um, and this is a little button you can click that'll take you to the uh, Andy Tags uh, website so you can buy NFC tags if you want and then there is the close button. Now I'm going to turn this on and show you how it works. So we're going to push close and uh, let me show you the media channels on here. You can see where they're set at right now. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this phone into silent and you'll see you can see it popped up a little pop-up that showed the alarm volume was being set to mute and you can see true silent is active and uh, if we go to the alarm uh, go to the volume channels now you'll see every channel has been muted including the media and alarm channels now look up in the notification you'll see there's the little uh, true silent uh, icon is up there so that's a constant reminder that your phone is in uh, uh, silent and vib or vibrate mode and true silent is active and then also if you drop that down if you click that that will take you back into the uh, app settings in case you want to change the settings now just to show you if we take the phone and put it back into regular mode then of course the persistent notification is killed it's gone and now when we go back into volumes you can see the, the media, uh, media volume is reset to what it was before it went to mute. Um, just like what the phone naturally does with your notification and uh, ringer volume. When you put your phone in silent or vibrate, it mutes them. When you take it out of silent or vibrate, it puts them back to the level they were at before you went to the vibrate or silent. And uh, true silent does the same thing with your media and alarm. And that's going to be most of what any of you guys are going to want to see. But uh, for those of you who are sticking around for the long haul, I will show you uh, how the uh, uh, alarm feature works. Okay, so we're going to go into the alarm 
we're going to create an alarm and uh, see the volume level. So this is why even if you mute your alarm channel when this alarm goes off, it's going to change it to whatever you have this set. So I'll set it to high. And uh, let's see. We're going to set it it's set to every day. I don't think any of the other stuff matters. We're going to set it to 447 and save. And then we're going to go back out. And we're going to wait until 447. And it will attempt to go off, but it won't go off. Well, actually, I have to put my phone in vibrator silent mode. Okay. Now that my phone is in vibrator silent mode and true silent is active, when it hits 447, nothing's going to happen. Okay, so 447 hit, but nothing happened. Now, let's go back into that and let's set it for 448 and save it. We're going to exit. We're going to turn the phone into normal mode so that you can see that the alarm itself would go off if your phone is not in the silent mode because the only reason it didn't go off before is because True Silent killed it. And you can see that because uh, True Silent was on, it didn't go off because. It was in silent and vibrate mode, so true silent killed the alarm. But once you take it out of silent or vibrate mode, the alarm goes off because true silent doesn't kill the alarm. And that's how the uh, kill alarm feature works. So that was true silent. Um, it is available for free on the Android market. Uh, it's sponsored by Andy Tags, and so the app itself is completely free um, for anyone. So uh, download it in the market, put it on your phone, check it out. Um, like I said, it's... Uh, uh, feature rich, very customizable as you saw uh, and basically just you know it's one of those things you put it on your phone once you have it set up the way you want it to be you'll probably never open the app again because it just works in the background and it does what it's supposed to do when uh, it's supposed to do it and uh, that's the kind of app that it needs to be anyway uh, if you like this uh, video please click the like button uh, if you have comments, put them below. If you have questions, I'll certainly try to answer them. Uh, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, uh, any way you want. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see all my other reviews because most of the apps I review are not apps that I created. This is a one-time thing. But uh, I do have tons of app other app reviews you can check out and uh, stay updated on those. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.